Hello friends, Hollywood, Hollywood, Halloween is coming up and that is making me feel like starting some Halloween looks. Today's look is going to be vampire, not just any vampire, but like a vampy, sexy vampire. Starting off with some foundation, I'm gonna be a tan vampire, okay? Because I don't look good as a pale vampire. <laughs> I tried. Actually, story time. I did dress up as a vampire once for Halloween. And all I did was just put glitter all over my face. Because I wanted to be a Cullen vampire. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. This is the Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin. No new updates um, to report. Except that I finally finished that real estate course. I mean, so much effort. I don't even know if I actually learned anything. Which I guess is like, promising. So I'm thinking like, if I was going to be a vampire for Halloween, probably what I would wear is like, a cute dress. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to be a human in this world. I don't even know what world we're living in. All I know is the four walls that surround me. That is my reality. And I don't really know anything outside of that. But if you guys did have a Halloween, let's use hypotheticals here because we don't know what the future holds. Our vampire is gorgeous, okay? Our vampire needs to like be like a siren and like seduce, you know, humans to go into dark alleys so they can be consumed. Paint the whole picture for you. This is Elf in Light Peach. You guys, I use this all the time. I put my concealer on my cheeks just to highlight them and make them look a little bit more pronounced. I think for hair though, I mean for me, I think the best vampire is like a vampire from a different century. Like my vampire would be, you know, around since like the 1800s. So she would probably have like Actually, no. My vampire would be from the 1950s and 40s. That's what I would do. And I'd have the Veronica Lake hair, like the sweeping hair in front of the eye. To me, that just like, that would be like, if I could live in any time period, but not actually live in that time period, just sort of visit it for a while, that would be the time period that I'd want. Looking for an eyebrow pencil. This is an e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Let's just do drugstore stuff today. This is the just e.l.f. brow pencil. And um, it's kind of chunky, but it's in the color taupe. And we're just going to go for like an arch, I think. I did um, remove this half of my eyebrow so that I could have a little more um, creativity in how I did my brows. Definitely want the eyebrows to be expressive. A little devious, a little angry. Because you know these vampires, they're just like always hungry. And cranky, you know, because they don't sleep. At least Edward Cullen never slept. Remember he would just like watch Bella sleep? Hashtag boyfriend goals. Take a spoolie and clean up that mess of an eyebrow. 
Actually, let's do like an even thicker eye love. That looks nice. Kind of like the thickness of that. Yeah, that reads vampire to me. Nice, thick, dark lash. Now let's go in. Our vampire feeds and like it turns, like her eyes get red. That's what I'm thinking. So we're gonna use, we're actually gonna use a lipstick on the eyes. Cause that's what my soul is telling me to do. So let's use this all fired up. And just smear that on. And then we're gonna come in and like darken it up and put powder on it too. But yeah, just stop there. That was not drugstore. I failed already. <laughs> what do you want from me? Nobody's perfect. No, but I just wanted to use like a red, a red with a little bit of berry tones in it on my eyes. And I've tried just using eyeshadow, but for some reason it just doesn't, I don't have any eyeshadows as bright as lipstick. So just go for it. Look, that's blending pretty well. This is definitely more pink than I was anticipating, but I think that's fine. So let me go in with the shadow. I've never actually been to like a Halloween party or anything. Like I've, I've never actually been invited to a party. What? There's only like one time I was like um, walking back from the gas station in college and um, there was like a house on the street that you walk back to campus and they were like we're having a party come in and everyone was like super nice and inviting until the girl that was like having the party was like what are you doing here you're not invited to my party and she kicked me out that's my story <laughs> Wants me to worry. <laughs> um, okay. I wish I had more eyeshadows. Honestly, I'm kind of okay. Let's go in with this Wet and Wild palette. This is actually a pretty good palette. This is the Rose in the Air palette, and we're gonna use that cranberry color. Sometimes I wonder if I should just speed up my videos, but then I also kind of feel like. You guys enjoy hearing me talk, right? So, put the rosé all day, all over where we put that color. I've been seeing a lot of 90s makeup looks all over YouTube, but kind of, like, disappointingly, they're all the exact same tutorial. Kind of like, one person posted it and then everyone copied. Like, that sucks. You guys, if you're watching this and you feel like just copying my makeup looks, like, have a little originality. But I was never like, yeah, I was never like, I don't know, invited to parties. Let's take this all the way up to the brow bone and a little out, like kind of magically. Like our, almost like our vampire is wearing like a mask. That's really cool. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> okay, let's go with this dark brown color. In high school, or not in high school, but in college, I did, like, I was, like, very social and, like, nice to everyone. I, I mean, I don't know if I was nice, but I tried to be nice to everyone. I came from, like, being bullied in high school, so I really wanted to make a lot of friends. So I would, like, always, like, stop and talk with people and um it worked like stopping and talking to people actually works sometimes you just have to invest a lot of your time into other people and you know eventually they'll start investing their time
them into you and it's okay if like they don't like some people won't some people won't like some people will never invite you to a party like no matter how many times you hang out with them they'll never invite you to hang out and that's okay you just focus on the people that do want to hang out with you you know and plus everyone like I don't know I guess I don't know what I'm saying I guess I was just saying like everyone goes through stages too like Maybe, like, they don't, I don't know, I can't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why people don't like me, I just know they don't like me. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? Okay, now we need, like, something really dark to go just on the eyeliner. I think we'll just use this eyeliner. Use black eyeliner. Yeah, I don't know why people don't like me, I've just never really gelled with people. People have never really gelled with me. I don't know. Let's try this um, current lip pencil and we'll just put it on our eye and see what happens. I do have a black eyeliner, but I don't feel like it's gonna look as good. So we'll just use this current, which is actually like a dark purple. And I think this, if you guys are watching this tutorial right now and you're getting ready for a party. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you know what I, you know what, I did go to a lot of, like, school dances, and because I was in so many clubs, I threw a lot of school dances, and my advice for going to your first dance, or your first, like, party, is learn a dance, like, learn at least one dance, like, in the most popular moves from the dance, because that'll take you really far. You know, people will see you doing a few dance moves that will really impress people. It's amazing how you can kind of like, um, trick people into thinking that you're a really good dancer if you just learn a few dance moves. What's that on, um, Zoolander? He's like, really, really, I don't know. Maybe it's not Zoolander. Alright. We need a little darker, so I'm going to go in with a black shadow. And I'm only going to put the black shadow, see where my eyelashes are, and just sort of give it like a fake eyelash. I'm not sure if I'm going to add fake eyelashes, because my fake eyelashes don't really stay on. Like, I've always had a problem with them falling off, and I think that's because I have to cut them a little bit shorter. But... For this look, I'm just going to do no fake eyelashes. And that would be like more wearable for you too, like going out to your Halloween party. Yes. And right here in the center of the bottom lid. And I think we're pretty much done with eyes. Smoke that out just a little. See how impactful that is, like, for, like, a vampire? That's really impactful. I mean, I buy that I'm a vampire. I buy that. Did you guys watch the new Suicide Squad movie? Normally, I don't say, like, negative things on this channel, but honestly, like, skip it. If you haven't seen it already, just skip it. You know what? One last thing I want to do. To, no, let me put some blush on. Okay, so for our blush, we need like a cranberry color. First, I think I'm going to use, that's right, I said I was going to use only drugstore, so this is going to be a struggle. I think this elf would match the eyes, and then I think we'll just darken it up with a little bit of, um, what do you call it, bronzer. So let's just try this. Yeah, that looks good. And then, because it's like, you know, a vampire. We'll just go all across the cheeks. We'll really look like we're flushed. Yeah, that looks nice and bright. Okay, let's 
warm it up with a little bit of bronzer. I'm looking for a bronzer that's a drugstore. Okay, this Milani bronzer. This is in the color Silky or Sunkissed. Yeah, I was thinking about as far as like doing my makeup and how like when I was younger I honestly couldn't afford makeup. I just had a physician's formula powder and that was it. Like I didn't own makeup. So as far as like teaching the younger self, like if I'm making a video for my younger self, like I wouldn't be using all these products because the younger me didn't have all these products. The younger me didn't have two sticks to rub together. <laughs> but then obviously when I got into college and you get that like financial aid check, which is like in my, in my era, like 300 bucks, then you go to the nearest makeup counter. I think I literally bought Chanel number no. five with my stimmy, or not my stimmy, but my um, first, uh, what do you call it? This is, I'm gonna use this powder on my face. Just, oh, I didn't realize it was that dark. Ooh, okay. Hey, you know what? We're experimenting with makeup. We're learning as we go along. That's actually really nice warming up the skin with that. Or maybe I'm, I don't know. Let's, um, let's still look for a thingy. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I was saying like as far as makeup, like you don't have to spend money on makeup. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to take a some sort of object and I'm going to scrape out some of this powder onto the back of my hand. And then once I've scraped some of it out, I'm going to use a blush brush and apply that to my cheeks as a blush. Okay, so there we go. We got the powder on the back of my hand. Now I'm going to take my blush or my blush brush and swirl that in. And apply that to the cheeks. And there we go. So if you don't have any blush and all you have is a um, eyeshadow palette you can use it as a blush. And the nice thing about that too is that ties in the eyes perfectly with the skin. And then another thing you can do is you can add a little oil to that. That same powder, you add a little oil to it. You've made your own lipstick. Sorry. I didn't do my nails. I know I should have. I what? Ugh. What did you say? This is the it's this is the Wet and Wild palette, and then the lip oil that I used. But this is not blending too well. It's the Elf lip lacquer. So that's what you can use as a lip. I. I guess I don't have any, you know, it's gonna, no, I have to stick with just doing drugstore. I have to make this an affordable look, okay? Amy, be realistic. Be reasonable. I do wonder if I have any, um, I'm going to look and see if I have any drugstore, um, lips. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so let me just put some more powder on my hands. And I'm going to actually show you guys, we're going to make this powder even darker. So, get a lot more powder. This is the Wet n Wild powder. And now this brown shade, sorry, this dark brown shade right below it, we're going to scrape a little of that off and put that into it. Just a tiny bit. We are creating a color here. And now, I definitely want to add a little bit of this shimmery color right here 
because that's kind of like a plummy coppery color so we'll break some of that off apply it to our mixture all right now we will get a lot more of that elf elf oil this is just a clear oil but you guys if you don't have this then go use some vaseline if you don't have vaseline you can also scrape off a little bit of chapstick or actually you could use some coconut oil or um uh, what is it? anything edible well so we've got our oil and we're gonna mix that i'm actually gonna use a brush because i think my hands are gonna get messy so we're going to take our oil whip lacquer oil mix our powder into it and we're gonna make that a deep See how that black really darkened that up, made it a lot deeper? But also, the more powder you add to it, the darker it's gonna be too. But yeah, you guys, we're making our own homemade. That looks just like blood. That looks perfect. And then we'll add a little bit of that brown. Yeah, that's really nice. Walk around the world someday. Look at that, we made our own lipstick. We're so talented. Now we'll use this lip pencil is just a real technique, so we're gonna put that on using our brush. This is probably going to be a little sheer because we used the oil. If we were gonna make our own lipstick, we definitely would want to use the uh, petroleum. Really. This is fun though. I mean, I hope you guys are learning something. Like, and that is what I'm trying to show you is that you don't need money to be creative or to be beautiful. Like, you don't. Like, sure, money makes life easier, but money is not, like, an excuse. You can do things. You just have to be a little creative. I mean, I'm even remembering when I was little and we would have frozen blueberries at our school cafeteria and I would take them and I would like turn them into like lipstick. She's a vampire. She's a vampire. I'm just adding a little bit of brown, a little bit more brown powder to our um, creation. Just to add a little more dimension. I should note that this is messy. Oh, look at that, you guys. That's like basically exactly what I wanted. Oops, it's a little messy. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little messy. But you guys can just go back in with your concealer and clean that up. You knew, you knew. 
And that's pretty much the look, except for like a little bit of, um, a little bit of, um, what am I thinking? Mascara. Don't forget your mascara. Walk around the world so big. Probably put a little bit more. Probably put a little bit more of this dark color. On these highs of feeling. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you. Oh, look, my green eyes pop. Well, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I hope it gave you some ideas on Halloween costumes. Like I said, what I would pair with this is just probably like your favorite outfit, <laughs> right? There's no reason to go out and buy stuff. I never went out and bought anything, and. For a little highlighter, I got this Maybelline Master Holograph, so I might as well give that a go and see how it works. Another brush. Try just under the eyebrow. Inner eyes. It's kind of like a white holographic-y thing. And you can just sculpt the nose a little. You guys, the great thing about this palette is it does have these colors, which you could easily use as a um, contour, like a contour powder. Here, I'll show you. So you just get a little on your brush, and then you can sculpt out your nose. And look at, we didn't have to go buy a contour palette to do that all in this one palette or the palette you choose Walk around the world someday. And then how I would sculpt the cheeks is I would use the same brush and see how it goes on heavy I put it where I'm gonna um, put it where I want it just like that and then you go in with your blush brush and you just buff that out. So that's how you can use your eyeshadow palette on your whole face. Very exciting. Too bad there's no like really bright color in here to use as a um, like a um, setting powder. Oh my, de sorry. The reason the camera is moving right now is because you're set on like a shoddy Blend that a little. Okay, so there is this like color which I'm gonna put all over my finger and I'm gonna try to just set my under eye just a little bit. Kind of like I was baking it with banana powder. Maybe I'll use a brush. Yeah, look at that. So you can bake your eyes with this palette too. Oh, that's exciting. And this is the Wet n Wild, just one more time. It's the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air. And that really brightens up those under eyes. So now we gotta blend it with the rest of our makeup, so. Walk around the world someday. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Kiss, kiss, kisses. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already. Although, most of you guys are subscribed already. Because you're beautiful. <laughs> the beautiful little beaches. I love every one of you. Each and every one of my little babies. Each of you is special. So special. You guys want to play around with this holographic thing before we go? This thing right here. Let's put it on top of... Let's put it on top of this and see what it does. 
I'm just curious because it is quite sheer. I just want to see if it makes it glittery. It kind of does. It kind of does make it glittery. What do you think? Do you like this? Do you like it with this? Um, it's a holographic Maybelline. Do you like it or no? Getting up close. I think that kind of, yeah, it kind of made the eyes into glitter, right? Let's put that holographic on my nose. Ooh, look at that. Put the holographic on my cheeks. That's kind of cool. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.